everyone. It's Donnie Lowy at CloseThatExplosion.com. I have a wholesale business in New York. The next time you are in New York, you're welcome to visit the warehouse. So today I'd like to discuss with you FBA versus MFN. FBA is Fulfillment by Amazon. MFN is Merchant Fulfillment Network. Essentially, there are two ways to sell on Amazon. One is FBA, where you send in your products to Amazon. And the other option is MFN, where you list your products on Amazon, or you take advantage of product listings that are there, and you add your items to those listings, and then you fulfill the order yourself. Now, there's two reasons, two main reasons, I would say, why someone would choose one option or the other one. One is convenience, and one is cost. Now, convenience is important, because convenience is not just a matter of you know, what's easier for you or, you know, what makes you feel better that day. But from a business perspective, convenience equals efficiency, right? If it's more convenient for you to send in all your merchandise to Amazon and let them fulfill the order, that's going to essentially be more efficient because Amazon will be fulfilling the orders and then you're not going to have an issue with taking time sending an order out. Maybe you're away on a vacation, you have a holiday, you're not able to send an order out right away and any delays could give you negative feedback from your customers and that negative feedback could translate into getting your account suspended from Amazon. On the other hand, if you're very efficient and you're really on top of the game, then you might decide just to fulfill the orders yourself. Now, there's pricing because there are different costs involved. If you send in your orders to Amazon, let's start actually take a step back. If you fulfill the orders yourself, then that's it. Amazon charges you a certain commission, but then you send the orders out yourself. Now, there is a monthly fee that you have to pay Amazon to be a seller, but that's either way. Now, if you fulfill your orders yourself, you give Amazon the commission, or I should say Amazon takes the commission when you make a sale, and then you send the order out to your customer. But if you use FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, you send the merchandise to Amazon, to one of their warehouses, they fulfill the order for you, so it goes out right away, but they will charge you storage fees, they will charge you fulfillment fees, and they have other fees as well. If you can't sell the merchandise or your merchandise isn't sold, they, they can have a disposal fee or they could charge you to send the merchandise back to you. In essence, both options have their challenges and their disadvantages. I think the biggest benefit to FBA, from my understanding, from the research I've done, is that in order for the merchandise to go through Prime, meaning to take advantage of the free shipping, it has to be shipped out from Amazon. So well, this is what I've read. Most customers, and I'd even say including myself as a customer, like taking advantage of the free shipping available through Amazon. Unless, of course, a third-party seller offers a merchandise for less, and even with the shipping, and you're not in a rush to get it, then you might buy a product that's fulfilled by the merchant through Amazon. But it's definitely a very big draw to buy merchandise when you see it's fulfilled by Amazon because you know you're going to get it, you're going to get it quickly, you trust Amazon, and the shipping is free. So as a seller, if you send in your merchandise to Amazon, you have a big advantage, and that advantage is that you're going to be able to to take advantage of Amazon's free shipping offer. Now, of course, they'll charge you for the shipping, but your customer is going to be excited. They're going to order it. And also, you can rely on their efficiency. And another thing that I've seen and I've read about this is that customers sometimes, including myself, sometimes will pay a slightly higher price for an item that's fulfilled by Amazon, even with the free shipping, if it costs a drop more, because we know we're going to get it quickly. Sometimes when an order is fulfilled by a third-party seller, it could take longer to get that order. So these are definitely things that you need to consider. Now remember, Amazon is a tremendous, tremendous marketplace. I read somewhere it has about 2.6 billion visitors to its website. So that's tremendous. It's, a, it's definitely a market by itself. And now there are challenges in selling on Amazon, such as you're going to have to get an approval for certain categories. I mean, you're going to have to get ungated. Some categories you might not even be able to sell. So you have to see if you have merchandise that matches what, you know, what people buy on Amazon. That's also important. You can look at the sales ranking of different items as well to determine if there's potential for the product that you want to sell and to see if you can actually sell it at a profit. I know many people are going to private label products, meaning they make their own product 
or buy a generic product and put their own label, their own brand on it. This way they could create their own category for the product. So these are all things that you should consider. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. My website is closed at explosion.com. Have an amazing day.